Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this energy update for February 2023. My name is Ona Christie, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the energies of February 2023. We're going to have a brief look at the astrology of February, and I will be sharing an Akashic message to help us through this time, as well as a piece of artwork that will hopefully be a, a portal for positive energies at, at this time. And I have an exciting announcement to share that I will share at the end of the video. Okay, so let's jump in with the astrology of February 2023. Okay, so I'm recording this in mid-January. And at this time in mid-January, we've got several kind of important things happening that are starting a new cycle. One is that we've got Mars going direct with that just went direct on January 12th. We've got Mercury going direct on January 18th. And we've got Saturn entering that just entered Aquarius on January 17th. Okay, so with those two planets going direct, things may start going faster, flowing a little bit more, moving into February here, and probably throughout February. And we'll see when I get into the message portion, <laughs> um, what that might look like. I want to give a couple of minutes here to Saturn entering Aquarius, because I think this is really, really significant. If you tuned into my um, energy update for 2023, you probably remember that I'm feeling like 2023 is going to start another cycle, um, another like three-year cycle, kind of similar to some of the events that happened in 2020. It feels like there's going to be another cycle similar to that. And Saturn has been since early, early 2020 in in the uh, sign of Capricorn, and it's moving now um, into Aquarius, okay? Why is this significant? Because we're moving into the Aquarian age, okay? So where Saturn is heading right now is really directly um, connected to our whole huge overall mega cycle, right, of, of moving into this age of Aquarius. And so let's take a look at the meaning of Saturn and the meaning of Aquarius. It'll give us maybe a feel for what this might be, you know, mean as we move forward here into this next three-year cycle. Saturn is known as the great teacher, okay? Saturn can be a real taskmaster. So often Saturn's lessons can be hard. So when we have Saturn coming in, often it can bring challenges, right? It doesn't have to, but Saturn's really about entering the higher consciousness, but it it's it, it can represent sometimes like the the resistance or helping us to you know learn the lessons that we need in order to overcome challenges or obstacles usually within the self to ascension okay so it's really important that saturn's lessons show up to help us to attain higher consciousness okay aquarius the sign of aquarius is all about spiritual liberation and advancement um, Aquarius is the water bringer, so you can think of it as the bringer of life in its positive aspect. Um, but it's also, it also has a lot of connections with technology, okay? Um, and in its negative aspect, if, if Saturn or if Aquarian energies are spinning in a negative direction, it can be really kind of cold, right? It can spin to more like the technology in a very cold way and, and not supportive of, of the heart or humanity. Okay, so Aquarius, like anything else, has positive negative polarity. Um, and so Saturn coming in here in the sign of Aquarius for about the next three years, um, that is really indicative to me of we may be seeing a lot of challenge around this, the whole ascension process. This feels to me like we're entering into a, a very kind of almost like, like the heart of this whole shift into the age of Aquarius, right? Now, of course, shifting into the age of Aquarius is, you know, a centuries-long process, but right now we're, we're really at the dawning of it, and 
it feels to me like we're in this, th this is a really, really critical point right now in making that shift. And so the choices we make as individuals and as a, a you know, the collective of humanity, of course, the collective choices are made up of all our individual choices. So we let's never forget that, that it's, it really is about individual free will choice. Okay. Um, so with that, let's get into the message. And I'm going to hold up this, um, this is the painting that I was given uh, when I tuned into the energies. The first thing they did was they showed me this in my sketchbook. It's a, it's a five-pointed star right here. You can kind of see it um, right, right here. But then I was, from there, I realized I need to just, you know, take it into um, painting mode, I came up with this image, I'll hold it up, and um, there are certain things about it that I'll explain as we move forward, okay? So starting with the message, I'll, I'll read the first part of it here. Um, it says, there may be events triggered in January 2023 that begin to unfold in February. Okay, I, I, I'm going to back up a little bit because it feels to me like there's been a lot, a lot of heavy energy in January, really, really moving through some heavy stuff. Okay, um, so it, that's where I think they're talking about a triggering it. And, and a download I got recently was that in moving through this period in early January, um, even before that through, through December, um, we've we've opened some kind of portal right as a collective the message i'm getting really strong is that any danger of an all-out huge global nuclear holocaust is over that we've 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 gone past that we've chosen you know not to experience that as a as a as a planetary <laughs> consciousness as a as a species okay so it does not mean that we won't experience maybe more limited nuclear events, but I am feeling really strongly that any danger of a global, you know, nuclear annihilation is behind us, that, which, you know, still means that we, we, we still need to make individual choices that, you know, there's a, there's a lot that can happen still, but it feels like that path is, is close at this point. Okay, so back to the message. There may be events triggered in January 2023 that begin to unfold in February. These may be world-changing events. Prepare for change. The world is about to change radically. There is a heart activation. It may feel painful for some. This is a process of purification. There's been an activating ray. As each individual responds to this activating ray, this will trigger what may feel like chaotic energies. Understand that it is a process of purification that when seen from a higher perspective has its own pattern and order. This activation will trigger many other activations. There may be many domino effects happening at once, many portals opening, some into higher and some into lower dimensions. The ripple effects will be widespread and felt over a long time span, many lifetimes in many cases. Okay, so when I'm looking at this particular image in light of the message that I just read, I'm seeing, they keep telling me that the star represents humanity, okay? Um, so the idea of being human, and there's a second half to the message that I'll read in a little bit that, that also ties into this. The idea of being human and, and really digging into our humanity is super coming forward right now. Okay, so the star representing a human being or humanity, um, and you can see this triggering of the heart right here, um, and if you can see the, the the spiral. And what I'm seeing is that there's it's kind of throwing off a lot of shadows, but it's also there's a lot of activity, a lot, a lot, a lot of activity. So I'm expecting there may be just a lot of <laughs> a lot of spiritual activity happening in February. It may be a lot of emotional activity. It may be political activity. It may be a lot of stuff. Um, it, this may be stuff that is coming forward as uh, overtly active in February or or events that are triggered in February that be begin to unfold over this coming three-year cycle. Okay, um, 
what I'm also seeing how they mentioned that the activation may trigger other activations. I'm seeing that here because there's this main spiral and then these other spirals at certain points, um, you know, so so lots and lots, again, lots of activity. Um, I feel like it's really, really important to recognize, again, the free will choice, okay? Every choice we make right now is going to be very, very felt. It's going to be very felt in the ethers, right? Um, every feels like the, the whole etheric field right now around the earth is highly charged and activated, very, very sensitive, okay? Um, so if you are a sensitive, a spiritually sensitive person, you may fe be feeling a lot, but also recognize your own power, the power within you, right? Um, so that every choice that you make, every Every breath you take is really going to be affecting the field. Super important to remember right now. Okay, so let's go into the second half of the message. I'm going to try to just read it and then comment on it. Um, so I asked, what can we do with this time, right, to uh, stay on our highest timeline? And the answer I received was, breathe, simplify. It is important to act and breathe from the heart. You are here to learn to be of service to others, not in a self-negating or self-destructive way, but be it by fully loving and empowering the self and allowing that pure love to shine out to everyone around you. Stay in the heart. Learn to recognize fear and ground yourself against it. Don't fight fear. That is a losing battle. Put it behind you. Always step in the direction of of love, beauty, and truth. It is better to stay still and do nothing than to act out of fear, but once you are shown what path to take, you may need to overcome fear to take it. There is nothing to lose. Anything you are afraid of losing is an illusion. And then they ended with, you are human, you are human, you are human. Okay, so again, I, I feel like the, this whole moving into Aquarius, especially with Saturn and Aquarius, is like humanity. Humer Aquarius is this humanitarian sign, and we're really being asked to step fully into our humanity, and I think this is really important in light of some of what's likely to come forward over the next three years. It's, it's, it's a lot of technology, okay? So uh, technology is really about to explode in a lot of ways, and I, I feel like we don't need to be afraid of this. It, it is not something that can be really resisted. Um, there's there's a lot of different ways we can respond to it, right? Um, it's going to happen regardless. But I, I I feel like the the guidance is the message here is that it's super important to hang on to our humanity, to remember that we're human, and to hold on to that essence of being human, and especially in light of, of what's going to come. And, and again, that message to stay in the heart, because that is the core, it's the heart of what it means to be human, is being in the heart. It's something that no AI can ever do. It can give the illusion of it. It can be really good at giving the illusion of it, but it, 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 to be truly human um, is beyond the reach of AI. I think that's what it's really saying, okay? So being in the heart, super, super important. Breathing, grounding, and, and staying in that heart space um, and, and super awareness around any time you feel those vibrations of fear, right? Okay, so self-training. And also I'm feeling super important is to maintain and grow our connections with each other, right? So, so community being super important, um, having that heart co connection with other human beings and recognizing, remembering that we are not alone, right? We have this connection. Also remembering that the ancestors are our our there are lifeline right with with humanity that every one of us no matter where we are or how alone we may feel we always have this chain of ancestors um the angelic beings are also 
I am being told human, right? They're human on higher planes that they've been through this ascension process, but we can call on those angelic beings, which are really uh, connected to or part of our ancestral, ancestral lineage, right? Also our star family, many of them, the ones that are have been through the organic ascension process are part of that wider, more universal uh, connection family of humanity, right? Um, so really being asked to recognize what it is to be human, to be starting to really consciously differentiating what it is to be human versus transhuman, right? Or or merging with the machine is not an organic way of ascending. Super important to remember, okay? Um, and that one of the most powerful things we can do is affirm that, that we are human. I am human. I am human. I am human. And also to connect with other human beings. And here we are. I'll be making a more detailed announcement shortly, but my husband and I just started a ministry and um, we are starting a little community. Um, there will be a local aspect, but also an online aspect for this whole Art of Awakening family. Art of Awakening is being rolled into the ministry, but I feel like you are the core of it, and I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, and I would really love to invite any of you who feel a heart resonance with this, this entire message to do check it out. I'll put the link in the description box below, and what we're going to be doing is just meeting once or twice a month to connect with each other, to connect with other light workers. Um, there'll be events that I call Light Workers Cafe, which will be just getting together. I think the first one will be in late January. We'll just get together and do some fun oracle reading for each other. Um, when you sign up, there's a little membership agreement you'll need to, to sign on to, but once that happens, then you will be in as a, as a member. It is completely free, and I look forward to welcoming many of you aboard. So with that in mind, thank you for, view, for watching this. Um, please do comment if you have any downloads about February 2023. I would love to see those. They, your comments are just as helpful to others as this video is. So please don't hold back with your own downloads, but that your connection with the Akash is just as direct as mine. Your insights are just as valid. Would love for you to share. And remember, you were born to be free.